In this exercise, you'll use IntelliShell to create and run several find statements that retrieve data from the customer's collection. First, launch Studio 3T and connect to MongoDB Atlas if you haven't done so already. In the connection tree, right-click the Sales Database node and then click Open IntelliShell. Studio 3T opens IntelliShell in its own tab in the main window. On the IntelliShell toolbar, make sure Query Assist is enabled. This will make it easier to view the results returned by the Mongo Shell commands. Let's also turn on Auto Completion by clicking on the lightning bolt icon. Now, at the command prompt, in the IntelliShell editor, type or paste the following command. On the IntelliShell toolbar, click the Run Entire Script button. Studio 3T runs the Find statement and returns the results in the bottom window, displaying them in the Find Query tab. And as you can see, the collection includes 1,000 documents, each being an individual customer record. The Find Query tab is similar to the Result tab on a collection. You can display the results in Table, Tree and JSON views and edit the data directly in place. The next query you'll create will limit the results to those documents whose device field value equals Apple iPhone. At the command prompt, delete the current statement and then type or paste the following command. The find method includes a query argument with a single search condition. The search condition specifies that the device field value must equal Apple iPhone in order for a document to be returned. Notice that the search condition is enclosed in curly braces with a colon separating the field name from its value. On the IntelliShell toolbar, click the Run Entire Script button again. The results should now include 537 documents. However, if you're getting 538 documents instead, don't forget you should have deleted the document whose last field value is gray from a previous exercise. Next, you'll create a query that limits the results to those documents whose address dot state field value is either Washington or Oregon. At the command prompt, delete the current statement and then type or paste the following command. As with the previous example, the query argument includes only one search condition. In this case, however, the search condition uses the dollar in operator to specify the field's acceptable values, i.e. Washington and Oregon. Now, only documents that include either of these values will be returned. On the IntelliShell toolbar, click the Run Entire Script button again. The results should now include only 29 documents. Those whose address dot state field value is either Washington or Oregon. You'll now combine the search conditions defined in the previous two examples, only this time you'll specify that the device field can include any value that contains the term iPhone. At the command prompt, delete the current statement and then type or paste the following command. In this instance, the first search condition specifies the permitted address.state field values, and the second search condition specifies the permitted device values. You must separate the search conditions with a comma. The value in the second search condition is a regular expression that's used for pattern matching. Let's break this down. The forward slashes enclose the regular expression. The trailing i specifies that the search condition is case insensitive. The two period asterisk pairs indicate that zero or more characters can precede or follow the term iPhone. As a result, the term can appear anywhere in the field's value and still be included in the search results. On the IntelliShell toolbar, click the Run Entire Script button again. The results should now include only 14 documents. For each document, the address.state field value is either Washington or Oregon, and the device field value contains the term iPhone. The next step is to limit your search results to the first, last, and username fields. At the command prompt, delete the current statement and then type or paste the following command. The find statement is the same as the preceding example except that it now includes a projection argument, which defines the three fields that should be returned in the results. Each field, you must specify a value of one to indicate that the field should be included. When specifying multiple fields, you must separate them with a comma. On the IntelliShell toolbar, click the Run Entire Script button. The results should now be limited to the three fields we mentioned earlier. 
as well as the underscore ID field, which is returned by default. The final step is to update the query, so the results are sorted by the last name values and then by the first name values. Add the command prompt, delete the current statement and then type or paste the following command. To sort the results, you add a period after the find method, followed by the sort method. The method's arguments include the field names, specified in the order that the documents should be sorted. The value of 1 associated with the two fields indicates that the documents should be sorted in ascending order, rather than descending order, which would take a value of minus 1. On the IntelliShell toolbar, click the Run Entire Script button, and the results should look similar to the following figures in both Tree View and in Table View. At the command prompt, delete the current statement, but leave IntelliShell open for the third exercise.